Welcome to another episode of Superhero 101. I, I notice I do this a lot. Alright, so today's episode for Superhero 101 is going to be Phantom Stranger. Um, I need to stop with the thumbs up. Okay, so Phantom Stranger is a DC, uh, um, DC hero. Uh, he is in the Justice League. Um, he's actually got a... He, he's very unknown. He has, like... Basically, he has... Um, it's unspecified paranormal origin. So, it's kind of like, um, like with the Joker, how he has, like, no backstory. Same with this dude. He has literally, like, no backstory. Uh, no name, no birthplace, no birth date, nothing. He's just some paranormal being type person. Um, so, his powers and abilities is very interesting. Um, mainly what he can do is... Okay, I'm in the chat. Um, let's see here. It says here he can fire energy bolts of great force, travel through time, dispel magic, reveal illusions, and survive in space without any type of life support system. It says here the limits of his power have not been defined. In many cases, despite his obvious capabilities, he claims he is not allowed to end a crisis directly, only to guide others to take necessary actions. Um, to guest star and virtually any title without becoming, I guess, like the main character, uh, whose actions would immediately end the story. So that's actually pretty interesting. I've never read up on a hero where he can't uh, do it himself. He has to have someone with him. Like he's like. He only acts as the guide, you know, the, the extra person to help out in a fight or something. So that's interesting. Um, let's see here. Okay, so um, for the origins, like he had, they say he doesn't really have any origin story, but there are. Um, so base, yeah, so. Phantom Stranger um, says here Unusual for a comic book character of such longevity, nothing in the way of personal data about the Phantom Stranger. His real name, his true nature, his origins have never been revealed. Uh, DC produced a special issue that That summed up like four possible origins, and I'm gonna read the origins to you. So number one says here, <clears throat> the stranger was a man in biblical times who was spared God's wrath by an angel. Questioning God's actions, he commits suicide. The angel, I can't even read. The angel forbids his spirit from entering the afterlife, remnants of his body, and condemns him to walk the world forever as part of humanity but also forever separated from it. He then discovers his divine charge to humanity. Wait, did I read that right? Yeah. Away from the evil, once a lot of time. Some versions of the story imply that the angel was the incarnation of the specter of that time period. So, yeah, I mean, but that kind of fits in because he's like you know like this guardian angel spirit thing who can only assist he can't do it all by himself I don't know alright so number two whoa, no, number two and a variation of the wandering Jew which, story which I have no idea what the wandering Jew is um, he was a man named Isaac with a wife, Rebecca, and his, 
and a son during the time of Jesus' childhood, when King Harold heard about the fuck does that say? Okay, <laughs> my bad. It says here when King Harod heard that there was a born a child who would be king of the Jews, he orders the massacre of innocents in order to kill Christ, the Christ child. Among people killed were Isaac's wife and son. Blind with anger, he spends the next thirty years raging against Jesus. During the Passion of Christ, Isaac bribes the guard to take his place in the flagellation of Christ. Jesus condemns Isaac to wander until doomsday. After the crucifixion, Isaac repents. He has since spent the rest of his life helping mankind and declines an offer from God to release him from his penance. So that's another biblical story there. All right. So the third possible origin says here that the Phantom Stranger is a being caught in a time loop near the end of the universe. The Phantom Stranger approaches a group of scientists who are trying to transfer energy from the Big Bang to extend the life of the universe. The Phantom Stranger realizes that one of the scientists is in reality an avatar of anti-life and that their, their efforts will prevent the universe from ever existing. The story concludes with the Phantom Stranger passing a portion of himself on to a scientist who dives through the portal to the Big Bang intercepts the beam that would have drained the Big Bang and becomes the Phantom Stranger completing the cycle. So, I, you know, that's a, they got like two, like two biblical stories all on them and then one like scientific -y one. So that's cool. Alright, so the last one is the Phantom Stranger was a fallen angel who decided, who, ah, sorry, who sided with neither heaven or hell during Satan's rebellion, and thus condemned to walk the earth alone for all time. In the comic book miniseries, the Trenchcoat Brigade, John Constantine, John Constantine sees that the fourth origin story is essentially correct. The Vertigo versions, the Phantom Stranger, once shot by some person, builds upon Moore's Fallen Angel story and adds the story of the woman, Nirma. Nama, Nama, or something like that, who was condemned to hell for loving an angel. The angel strongly hinted have become has hinted to have become the Phantom Stranger. So there you go. So they have four possible origin stories of Phantom Stranger. They have no released information on him whatsoever. Um, he he's he's a very lesser known character obviously um so i don't know like him if they were ever to give him like his own role i don't think they'd be able to do it because it says here he can't um he he can only provide support he can't be like the main um person um or i guess it says like something is gonna go bad or something i don't know or the story just immediately ends I don't know. It's it, it it's weird. It's iffy. But uh, then again, this character uh, is a very mysterious character. Um, so he is in the Justice League. But I've watched so many Justice League movies that I haven't seen him in any of them. I mean, maybe he has. Basically, he um, his image is a dude with a trench trench coat. A fedora hat, and the shadow of his uh, hat covers his face, and he has glowing white eyes. So that can also be hinted as he's a fallen angel, too. So, um, it's possible. Which, let's see, I do know. I mean, he does. He's not a main. He's not like a main, main, main character. He's like that guy that helps. He's like the guardian. Um, the only t time I've seen him on anything was, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, the online, um, DC Universe game. He's basically just a, 
a dude that you just go turn missions into or whatever. Um, that's the only time I've seen him. And I'm like, who the hell is this dude? So, alright guys. So that is it for the Phantom Stranger. Thanks for tuning in. I will um, definitely keep you guys updated with another episode. Um, if you guys want to know someone about something and, you know, you want to teach me also, let me look them up and I can do something like this. Give me, um, write, some, write a superhero in the comments section down below um, that I can totally, you know, it's got to be someone who's a lesser known character. It can't be a popular dude because that's not the point of these videos. The point of the videos is to teach you guys about people that aren't very well known. Um, so, thanks again. Um, tune in for more. Like I said, I'll keep you updated with more episodes. And have a good one, guys.